abiondemand.com. Automotive training you can receive anywhere, anytime. Your online training starts here. So there's a, there's a battery, a little flashlight battery, turning the electrical fan. Franklin had one thing wrong. He said it went from positive to negative. It doesn't really matter which direction it goes. We just know it goes. We have a complete circuit, not a short circuit, or an open or a high resistive circuit. Those are the three problems about any circuit can have. So we can break it down very easy and we'll bring this back into the parasitic current draw, how it affects parasitic current draw when we go through each of these. So let's talk about some examples of short circuits. You can have a short to power or short to ground. So on the power side, in the top of the circuit, coming out of the positive of that battery, going into the feed, the, the power to run that load, that electrical load, this little fan here, we're gonna have a, a shortcut for electricity to flow, not go through the fan. Remember, current takes the path of least resistance. Majority of it does. So 99.99% of that current is gonna go right to that ground and that's gonna be zero resistance. And we do the Ohm's law, that means the current's gonna be sky high, burn the wire up, blow the fuse, whatever. So those are shorts to power. If we had a short to ground, then it'd be just the opposite, all right? Shorts to power would leave it turned on. Shorts to ground depends on where the short is. If the short's to ground on the low side, if you had a low side circuit switched, it would be on all the time. If you had a short to power on the high side and it was a high side switch circuit, high side being the, high, the, the positive side, then it'd be turned on all the time. In this case, we have the high side shorted to ground and that's gonna blow the fuse. Unlimited current. Then the next scenario would be a break in the wire or an open circuit. So there's infinite resistance. So as the resistance went up, remember the Ohm's law teeter-totter, the amount of current goes down. In fact, it goes down to the point where there's no current flow. So there's a complete open circuit. That's the second type of, and then the third type where we have high resistance. We have a complete circuit but there's a high source of resistance in it, meaning the electrons are gonna have a really hard path to go through to get to that fan.